Okay, I got this very powerful hand crank generator I just tink tinkered together. And I'm going to go through it and show you how it works and show you how I made this. And uh, the motor for this, this is a permanent magnet motor, of course. That's what you want to use. And this particular one is a scooter motor. And it came with a gear head that's threaded on it, which was real useful for attaching this uh, crank. And this particular motor is 24 volt direct current, 100 watt, so, which works out to about 4.16 amps. And this could conceivably even jumpstart a car. It's it's powerful enough. And uh, so I, I I took my motor and I made this mount with with uh, strapping, pipe strapping, and rubber, and it holds it in there really good. This base I just tinkered together. My crank is an old bracket that I drilled out and I actually have two settings here so I can get a long crank or a short crank right now I got a short crank on there I marked which the direction of current flow for the crank and uh, we'll give you a quick demo on my meter start cranking there you go she's putting out pretty good And it's really easy to crank. And for the hand crank right here, I put this rubber grip on a bolt, thread it in, and it's and it spins. So I can when I'm when I'm cranking it, it's spinning in my fingers. And this is the closest thing I could come up with so far to a World War II style hand crank generator that they used to use for field phones and stuff. Pretty cool. And my power lead. It's just going to two clips and then going to uh, two battery clips so I can hook it up to whatever I want. Right now I got the leads for the meter box hooked up. But all in all, a really cool project. All bolted together. And the base, I put some uh, cushions on the bottom so it doesn't scratch up any surface. And there you go. Very, very, very neat and easy. I'm going to be experimenting with this a lot. Maybe I'll show that in some videos, what this thing's capable of in the near future. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click like. Thank you.